freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are all okay. We are on Crudwell Lane. It's the back road to Tetbury. It's the designated route in where all the locals don't like us. <laughs> uh, we say thank you to everyone, all the car drivers that pull out the way. She put her hand up, so she's happy. Um, always try to be uh, nice and kind to the residentials in it. So yeah, anyway, in today's video, um, today for me is Tuesday. Uh, we're on our way to Tetbury to get loaded with one pallet and six bolt bags. So not very much. Um, we're going to get that pallet on, we're going to get the bolt bags on, we're going to start to net it and we're going to strap it up. We then need to go to over to our old yard, Be Right Sawmills, and we need to get loaded with the rest of the load. Why is a split collection? I don't know, but it is. And it's for two deliveries for tomorrow. We're going to head our going to head over to the first delivery today it's in St Albans. I, I have a suspicion it's going to be Lawson's. They don't take deliveries after two o'clock. We won't be there before two, so they, we won't be tipped today, unlikely. But I'm hoping we can park outside their premises, or it's technically within their premises, overnight. We'll have to see. There's one vehicle up here as well, look, so we're going to be waiting to get loaded. Um, that's the plan. Head to St Albans, and then in the morning we do a delivery, and then the day after we go over to Royston for our second delivery. That is what is going to be in this video. Thank you very much. Flash them as well. Um, and then after the Royston delivery tomorrow, you may see me get a collection. I don't know where it's for. Oh, sorry, I don't know where it's being collected from. I don't know what it is. and I don't know where it's going. But what I do know is that there's nine deliveries. Nine. <laughs> but that's going to be in a different video. Um, so I'm going to record getting it collected and then the, th the next video, so the one after this, will be the, uh, the nine deliveries, wherever they may be. But at the moment, as it stands, because that'll be for Thursday, it's Tuesday today, as it stands, I don't know where we're going, what we're loading, what we're collecting, where we're delivering to. I don't know anything other than we've got nine deliveries. So it's a bit of a... Uh, uh, what's the word? Uh just about uh, it, it's just thinking about what it could be really <laughs> can't think of the word what it's gonna what it is right anyway we are here at tetbury we're gonna take the seatbelt off handbrake on first you should always put handbrake on first uh how are we doing for driving time because obviously we've been driving two hours we're on we do need to have half an hour break somewhere so um we won't put it on break yet but we may have a break here while we're waiting to be loaded We'll have to see. We'll have to see on that one. This is a walking floor in front of me. So he's not actually loading, which means we might actually be going straight in, which is, is handy. We've got one lorry coming out. Is that one of ours? Yeah, one of our drivers is coming out now. It's Kieran. You all right? Say hello to the camera. Camera. Over here. Camera, it is. Camera. <laughs> right. So. right. Yeah, that was the boss's son, Kiran. Anyway, we got to go get our paperwork, so I'll see you in a bit. Right, we are standing on top of the trailer, got our net ready. That's the one pallet. We've got six bolt bags to go on now. I think you might put one up there and then two there. So that's three and then four, five, and then one to be double stacked. We'll quickly net it and then we'll go to the next place and then they can continue loading properly. So yeah, lovely jubbly.
Right, that's the uh, the first bit done. That's all it is. We'll go get the rest now. Let's go. Right, we are now in B right, which used to be our old yard, and uh, we're just waiting now to be loaded. We're just about to go on break, which is typical. <laughs> we got here, and there was another truck uh, being loaded, so they've just loaded that truck, and now the buzz has gone off, so they've gone on break. But it's not the end of the world because we just found out that we can actually take this back to the yard tonight, the new yard and uh, head down tomorrow morning. So it's quarter past two in the afternoon. I think they're only on break for half an hour. Maybe, maybe 45, I don't know. Either way, we'd be in the yard by four o'clock, I would have thought. The absolute latest, so not too shabby. So yeah, I've undone the net lut because the net was going down here. So I've lifted it up. They can now start loading all the way from the beginning. It's going to be topsoil, which is actually those bags behind the trailer. These ones there, look. And they'll uh, double stack them all the way to the back, pretty much. Uh, with the exception of one play bark, which needs to go on, which, yep, he's got there ready, look, ready to go. That orange one. And then I think there's five extra fine topsoil, which is the green bags. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's all, uh, all those dark blue ones behind us there, look. So yeah, we're just going to sit tight now and relax and wait for them to load us. And then we can let it up and crack on. Ah, break time's over. It should start coming out now. And uh, it's only half past two, so it's only a 15 minute break. Lovely jumping. We've just been here on the phone, just chilling, as you do. Here we go then. We are now being loaded. We're back on the trailer. Lots and lots of topsoil. Uh, and then, like I said earlier, these five green ones will be going on as well. We've got the play bark on that was there. So it's just double stacked topsoil bags now all the way to the end and those extra fine ones will be on the back end I would have thought lovely jabbly just chilling chilling like a villain as my uh, as my girls would say they watch too much TV zombies or something that's fun <laughs> chilling like a villain We're still loading, but uh, we walk down the edge of the trailer now to uh, grab the net, which is up here. And then we can start rolling it. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. Yeah. Easy as that. Nearly at the end now. Okay, netted and strapped. Let me walk you through it. So for the first drop, we have all of this. I do not undo that orange strap. So all of this, apart from that bag on the bottom and the one on the other side. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and then one on the end, 25. 25 for the first one. And then for the second drop, it's all of this, including that orange strap, and then two on the bottom next to the orange strap. That is what it is. I personally always like to know where it is on the trailer, so I know where it is when I get there. I don't look like an amateur, and that I know what I'm doing, basically. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna jump in the truck now. We're gonna crack on back to the yard. Right, that's it. We are loaded and in the yard. And uh, we're gonna be going home for the day. Um, I'm just gonna finish off today by doing some paperwork. It's a, a bloke walking, having a good look at the van. Oh, really bugs me that my steering wheel isn't straight. <laughs> Got to straighten my steering wheel, because that bugs me. <laughs> right, uh, let's do some paperwork. Right, that's the paperwork done. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, no one's told me specifically that you have to wear a high-vis in this place, but actually everyone walking to and from the trucks are wearing high vis. I'm going to continue not wearing a high vis until I'm told otherwise. Um, because I'm a rebel. <laughs> I am a rebel. Right, anyway, um, I'm going to go. I will see you in the morning. It'll probably be dark. And, uh, yeah. See you in the morning. 
Okay, good morning everyone. It's now the next day. Um, we're just getting stuff ready in the truck. We've done our checks. We've just got to do some paperwork and then we can crack on. It is uh, 4.25 in the morning. Um, we got here about 10 minutes ago, give or take. So yeah, I think it's gonna be a busy day today, potentially. We'll have to see. Bloody cold though, minus three degrees. Minus three degrees. Anyway, I'm gonna carry on doing my checks and then we'll crack on and I'll see you when we get there. Okie dokie. It's a bit narrow here. Uh, yes, morning everyone. It is uh, currently 10 past six in the morning and uh, we're just about to arrive at our first delivery of the day in St. Albans. Uh, Google says they open up at six o'clock. So they should be open, <laughs> but there is a chance. There is a chance that they might not be open until half past six. I'm not sure. Uh, I reckon we can get in. I'd be surprised if we can't get in anyway. Okay, we're just going to dive down here. And then we'll be taking a left real soon. Okay, start indicating left. Full beam off, there's a car coming. Where's the entrance? Should be just here. Yeah, there it is. So, this is the entrance. Is the gate open? This gate's open here. This gate is open, so that's a good start. Got a truck coming down. Is he stopping? I think he stopped. There's, place, there's uh, space to cross here, past each other here. But I wasn't sure whether he had stopped or not. But it looks like he has. just here but we got to stop here there we go i swear this is getting pushed further back and back <laughs> we used to stop where that car is down there or that lorry whatever it is but now we have to stop here but yes well at least we're here um we're gonna go in well we're gonna walk down now and see if they can get us in at least if not then uh, we'll walk back up and we'll start undoing the net and the straps, so we're ready to uh, to take them all off. Yes, I'll see you in a bit. Right, I've spoken to someone, and basically where I'm standing right now is where they want me. So, uh, I'm just gonna walk back to the truck now and uh, come on in. Like, I was gonna undo my net outside where I am, but it's very much lit up in this yard. Uh, as you'll see in a second, it's not where I am. It's not lit up at all. In fact, it will slowly get darker and darker. That's my lights in the truck, you see. It's very dark down there. But very lit up behind me. Can I just say, it's very cold. It's minus four degrees. It's freezing. As you see, it's getting dark now. <laughs> okay, and this is how dark it is at the truck. My phone's very good at making it appear lighter than it actually is. It's not this light. Let me adjust my phone. Yeah, it's more like that. I've just adjusted it. Oh, there's a lorry behind us. All right, let's jump in the truck, go on in. Okay, we are on the bed of the trailer. Currently being unloaded, hard out on because it's safe, have the safety here, so you've got to have a hard out when you're on your bed. Yeah, bloody cold. We're getting there, not much more left to come off. We haven't been here long at all. It's only 20 to 7. Okay, that's just done. We're tipped, it's all strapped back up, net's back on. We're going to crack on now to the next destination. Uh, I haven't even researched it, so I've got no idea how far it is. 
or even where I'm going. So we've got to uh, check all that out now. Right, so let's so do this chin strap. The reason why the chin strap's on is because I'm wearing the hoodie. And with the hoodie on, the, uh, the, hat, the hard hat just slips off. So you've got to have your chin strap on, or is it just be falling off every time? Uh, let's sort some paper out, paperwork out quickly. Da -da 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 -da. It's cold out there, minus four and a half degrees, it says. Ooh. I left, I'm not going to lie, I left the night heater on in here, so it's nice and warm in here. Freezing. Ugh. I can turn the night heater off now that I'm in here, though. Uh, high vis off. As it stands, I've done zero research to where I'm going next. Uh, so I think I'll show you what I can see on my phone so you can see what I'm doing. So this is what the postcode comes up with, SG86DJ. Uh, yeah, Norbury's. So I'm delivering to this place. That looks familiar. Oh, I visited two years ago, 23rd of October, 2020. Uh, right, and on the sat-nav, I'm just trying to pinpoint on the sat-nav as well to roughly the same location. Uh, which is up there. Cool, so I've got that now on the sat-nav. That's going to calculate a route. I'm pretty sure this was a really sharp right-hand turn down a single track lane. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, turn, turn right. Yeah, that's it. Down a single track lane. Yeah, I've been I've been there before. How far away are we? Got no idea. Forty-eight minutes. Not too bad. Forty-eight minutes. And I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I tipped somewhere over here. You will arrive at your destination at seven. By these containers, I think. I think. Sometimes on Street View, uh, on on Google Maps, you can see the bags. That looks like bolt bags here. So maybe it's there we tip. Where that red mark is. Either way, that is where we're going. Norby's. And uh, that is basically what I do to plan a route, basically. Well, I haven't actually planned a route. Where, where are we going? A1, past Hatfield, Stevenage. Cool. Yeah, it's nice and easy to get to. Look in front, lad. The sun is rising. We are actually finishing our first job before the sun has risen. That's pretty cool. Just say bye to the uh, the forklift driver. Not gonna lie, it's a bit hot in here now. I got an incredibly thick hoodie on. Like, I don't know if you can see, but it's actually got like fur inside as well. Like it's incredibly warm. Uh, I put it on this morning because it was like minus five degrees, I think, when I left. Minus four, minus five, something like that. So uh, I put it on this morning. <laughs> Is this guy going? Cheers, mate. That's the one of the forklift drivers that offloaded me. I had two forklift drivers tip me. That's uh, the reason why it was so quick. Like, we turned up, I think we turned up like quarter past six, something like that. Then it's quite a walk to get in, walk all the way down here. The time we actually got in, it took 10 minutes to undo the net. And then we were tipped in like 10 minutes. So it's pretty cool. That wind canting lorry turned up literally just after I did. I bet he's fuming. Is this van staying here? I think he is. I think he's staying here. Cool. So yeah, I'm going to crack on to the next place. Hopefully we can get there and get tipped before nine o'clock. And then we've got to go to a place called uh, Harwich and get loaded with timber. Don't know how long we're going to be there for, but it does say, it speculates in the paper that I must be there before 3 p.m. Well, if all goes to plan, I could be there by 12 p.m., so that's good. And then that's that, <laughs> as I was saying yesterday, 
uh, is for a nine drop delivery. And I have now received the information. Um, it's going to, the, the first two deliveries are B&Q stores. Then there's a couple of uh, juicing stores. And then there's a couple of independent builder merchants as well. Um, yeah, I think there's like three or four juicing stores actually. Uh, and apparently it's fencing. So it's multi-drop delivery fencing it is. Hazards can come on, beacons can go off rather. So yeah, nine deliveries. There can't be much more than three packs per store. I'd be very surprised if there's more than three packs per store. And if one store does have more than three packs, then there'd be a couple of stores that only have one pack. That's the only, only thing I could think of. Um, but it's, 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 we'll worry about that in the next video. But it is going to be interesting because we've got a time schedule to keep to. And I'd like to beat that time schedule. So it's going to be like a, a race against time. Can, can Luke C and HDV beat the delivery times? <laughs> and can we get ahead of ourselves and finish early on a Friday? That's, that's the next video after this. But for now, let's go to our second delivery point. I'll see you when we get there. It'll be quarter to eight, so it should be just about getting the lights out. See you in a bit. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Okay, you join me for the last mile from where we need to be. We're about to turn right here. Lovely jubbly, turn right. And now we're in Melbourne. <laughs> but not Australia. <laughs> it's a bit cold for Australia. And the place we're delivering to is literally on the right-hand side, just above the eel. Uh, or the other side of the eel, I should say. Okie dokie, and then we're going to take a right-hand turn here, which is going down a road, which is not suitable for HDVs, but it's the road we have to take. It's the road that gets us to our destination. It's the road which has got roadworks outside of it to make the turn that little bit more difficult. Easy peasy. We're in. So yes, we're now down this weight-limited road, but it is the road that we need to take. You're welcome. Got a van driver behind us as well. So your note on the sat navlet, it says that we are in a uh, an area which is not suitable for trucks, we shouldn't be here. But, we are allowed to be here because we are delivering here. Caution, heavy vehicles ahead. I suspect I am the heavy vehicle. Bumpy, 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 bumpy. And then I think it's on the right hand side. Heavy goods vehicles turning. Again, that'll be me. <laughs> nobbies. Norbies, not nobbies. Norbies. Norbies. Right, where do they want us? That's the question. There's a forklift driver down here. Looked like he might be turning around to speak to me. Nope, I was hoping he was. I was hoping he was going to wait there. But he isn't. Ram behind me. Come on, mate, go round. Uh, 
Let's see what the guy says. Morning, mate. Got some bolt bags for you. Um, see where that van is? Yeah. I don't know if you want to sort of pull around the corner and then back along that way. Yeah, I can do. Or just get over one side over here. I'll tie it up to you, mate. Just somewhere down there. Yeah. Just so I can get you all from one side. Yeah. I'm going to put them over on the left where the mother bags are. All right, right. yeah, I see them. All right, cool. All right. Cheers, mate. We'll wait for this car to, uh, to come around. Lovely. It's a bit chilly out there. Minus three degrees. Yeah, this is, uh, this is exactly where I thought um, we'd be tipping him. He's just, he's just going to put him here. So I think it's probably best if we just park up here somewhere. On the right-hand side. If we get a bit tighter over, it gives him a little bit more room. Just going to reverse back into the corner. And then just go forward a bit more. Brilliant. That'll do. I'm happy with that, as long as he's happy with that. I think he's just coming over now. Is he going to give me a thumbs up or...? Yep, all good. Lovely. Right, I'm going to go and get the net off. See you in a bit. Right, we're at the second drop. And we're unloading as you can see. It's still quite cold out. Uh, minus two. But at least the sun's out. Like, yeah, sunrise is well and truly arisen. I need a haircut. <laughs> um, hopefully, I'll get one this weekend. But yeah, man, uh, after we tip this, we're going to go over to Harwich. I'm still waiting for a delivery address though. <laughs> Stick to help out, push these up. Look, just makes it easier for the forklift to, uh, to get his forks in. Just open up the ears. I call them ears. They're probably not called ears. But that's what I call them. Nearly done. One side done. One side left to do. And then uh, we'll crack onto Harwich. We know where we're going now as well. So um looks nice, nice and easy. I think it's called Grange Fencing or something. Can't remember now, but I have had a look. It looks easy to get to. Right. Destination is in the sat nav. We are good to go. Just got to get out of here. Still cold. <laughs> it's still cold. There's a little smoke behind me. I guess something's warm behind me. Da, 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 go backwards. Lovely. And then we should be able to make this left turn. Anyway, I'm going to crack on to the, to, the, uh, to the collection point. I shall see you when we're there. See you in a bit. Okie dokie, you join me in Harwich. Is it Harwich? Harwich. I, um, I've got terrible pronunciation, as I'm often told <laughs> on my comment section that I pronounce things incorrectly. I'm going to go with Harwich. You're not indicating. That's why I've come out. Um, anyway, we're in Harwich. We're just around the corner. Um, and this is going to be the end of the video once we're loaded. I'm just going to film when we get here and then I'll show you what we got on as a sneak peek of, as to what we've got to do in the next video. Um, and then I shall start recording the next video. But essentially, we've got to get collected for nine deliveries over the next two days, Thursday, Friday. Um, and hopefully I can get one off today, which you'll see in the next video, but I don't know whether they will take it. We'll have to wait and see. First things first, we've got to get loaded first. That's what we've got to do. I don't know whether the GoPro is picking that up or not, but it's very foggy out. Foggy enough for lights anyway. Get the lights on the truck. Oh yeah, they just put theirs on. Look, do you see that? That's how foggy it is. Very sunny though. Very sunny. Okay, so 600 yards and we should be here. It should be on the left. It's Grange Fencing we are collecting from. Ah, there's loads of timber there look, on the left. Is that timber? It's like boxes. 
loads of boxes and fence and fence posts. It could be that sort of stuff we're de delivering actually. Anyway, that is where we're loading from, so different. That is different. It's very thin in the sense that you might be able to get like three rows on each one. Um, like three on the width of the bed rather than two is what I'm, what I'm thinking in my head. We'll have to see. Now I've got absolutely no idea where we go. That looks like it's a company. We want this one. Grange. And then when we're in here, we'll have to, oh no, we've got a load. What do they call them? Big Boyds. Is it Boyds? We're going to see something like that. Lorries turn in, pedestrians, blah, 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 blah. Same old stuff. Where do we go? We need to find like an office or something. Ah, there's an office there. There's a man here, but there's an office there. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go uh, park next to the office. Yeah, these are very thin. You can definitely get three on, a, on the bed. But then it could be that, I don't know. We'll have to see what we're loaded with, because I've got no idea. I think someone's coming over to me now because they've spotted me. Ugh. Anyway, I'm going to get loaded. I'll see you in a bit. OK, so they've already got my stuff out ready to go, look. This is the reference number that we got, 417199. So it's all this timber laid out here. Lovely. Just saying already, I love this place. They're so friendly uh, as soon as I come in. But also you'll see, it says number nine there, number nine there, number eight there. The other side you see it says eight, look, he's just putting it on. So they're all numbered and clearly numbered as well. Which means it's gonna be so easy to tell which ones are coming off at which drop. Lovely. I will need to measure it though. I do have a height stick, so I'll measure it. Anyway, that is gonna be a, the end for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it little bit of a sneak peek of the next video uh, and I'm now going to keep vlogging for the next one so yeah thanks for watching I do appreciate it until next time drive safe stay safe and I'll see you soon bye bye